Hello guys, you are back with our next lecture. In this lecture, let us go through the next question. Okay, so this question belongs to GATE CSC 2014 set 2, right? Yes. Okay, so the given question is uh, consider a joint relational algebra, okay, between R and S, okay, using the nested loop method, there are three buffers each of size equal to the disk block size okay so out of which one buffer is reserved for intermediate result assume that the size of r of r is less than size of s of r then the joint will have fewer number of disk blocks if okay relation option a says that relation r of r is in outer loop option b says that s of r s of s is in outer loop Option C says that the joint selection factor between R and R and S and S is more than 0.5 and option D says that joint relation factor in between them is less than 0.5. Okay. So to be clear, they, they are clearly saying that the size of R okay, is less than S and they are saying they are going to link these things like one will be in the inner loop okay and one will be in the outer loop like these are the two different cases right yes so the first two options says that which will be better so to be clear they are saying inside yes there are a lot of entries right yes so if there are a lot of entries in yes so i think applying a basic condition on yes okay applying a basic condition on s and then performing cartesian product or any kind of thing with respect to that will makes more sense right yes so i think option a makes more sense but when it comes to option b in this we are first checking the condition and then we are multiplying s with r so basically r is having less entries so the result will also be less but whenever we cartesian product we will get a lot of entries because s is having more value right Yes. So you can assume in this way. So you can assume that in yes we are having five entries and in, in R we are having only one entry. So at that time once this yes passes through the condition the final entries will be three. So at that time if I perform Cartesian product in between them or natural joint in between them I can get maximum three. But when it comes to this case as this is a five and this is one. So assume that even after checking the condition you will get one outside. So basically here we can end up with the five. So indirectly the first case is better than the second case. Okay, so now moving on to option C and D. Option C says that the joint selection factor between RS and S, S should be more than 0.5 and should be less than 0.5. Okay, so when we are working with this joint selection thing, I think we cannot say it accurately, right? Because it directly depends on the values of them and it directly depends on the order in which they place them and in which we place them, right? So, because whenever we are working with this Cartesian product or any kind of natural joint or any kind of thing, we will be, so they clearly told that they are nested loop methods. So, whenever we are working with them, whoever is outside and inner will work, will be more important than the relationship in between them, right? So, if R and S is having exactly 50% common things, so at that time you might get the exact value if you know the values and the order in which they execute. But here they did not give any order or anything. So, that is the reason why the most probable answer according to me should be A, right? Yes. Okay, so now I hope everyone got a clear idea with respect to this, right? Yes. Okay, yes. So I hope everyone got a clear idea and whenever we are working with these SQL statements, if the table is big, work with that only first guys. Apply some condition and eliminate unwanted things from it and once the table is small, you can work with it easily, right? Yes. So that's what we have done here. So yes is bigger. So that's the reason why I asked you to apply condition on that. So indirectly as we are using this yes first, so R will be outside. So that is the reason why A is the correct answer. Got it? Yes. So I hope everyone got a clear idea with respect to this. So in the next lecture, let us continue with the next question, right? Yes. So let us meet in the next lecture. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Like, share and subscribe for more awesome videos like this. Thank you.